Hello, good morning students. Welcome in the world of physics. Today, I am going to explain Kirchhoff's law. Kirchhoff's law is one of the very important law of physics, which is used to solve the complex electrical circuit. We can find potentials, electric current, in the different branch of an electrical circuit using this law. As you already studied, we can solve or we can find current and potential in the different branch in simple electrical circuits by using Ohm's law. But for a com complex circuit, we can use Kirchhoff's law. Let us start students, Kirchhoff's law. There are two laws in this. The first one is known as first law or it is also known as current law or it is also called junction law. junction law. The second law is known as second law or second rule or voltage law or we can also call it as a loop law. Let us start students first law, Kirchhoff's first law. As I said it is known as current law or junction law. So, we will first see what this law states. According to junction law, the algebraic sum of all the currents meeting at a junction in a closed electrical circuit is zero. That is, that is summation i equals to 0. Let us see, I am just taking an example to clear this law. I will first draw a simple electrical circuit. This point as I have written as it is a O which is called a junction from where different branches are there. Suppose this one is a R1 resistance and I1 current is flowing towards the junction. Another branch is here in which I2 current is flowing and it is also moving through the register R2 towards the junction. Third branch is there which containing a resistance R3 and current I3 is moving away from this junction. Another branch I have taken here also one register is connected R4 and uh, in this also I have just shown a uh, current is moving towards the junction and lastly I am taking one more branch that is containing a register of I5 and uh, the current I5 sorry register of resistance R5 and current I5 is moving away from the junction. So, applying Kirchhoff's first uh, law, we can write here like uh, I1 plus I2 minus I3 plus I4 minus I5 equals to 0. You can see here, I use the current I1, I2, I4. In front of this, I use positive sign which indicates that these currents are moving towards the junction and I use the symbol minus negative sign because these are the currents which is moving away from the junction. So this is our first law and uh, this law is based on law of conservation of charge. Why? 
why it is based on law of conservation of charge we can prove this by a very simple method what we can do we can simply multiply this uh, equation by time so it will become i1 t plus i2 t minus i3 t plus i4 t minus i5 t equals to 0 if we will multiply t in that side it will be also become 0 so students as we already know current i is equals to q by t so what we can write here q is equals to i t look at here i t so i1 t it is a type of charge that is q1 plus q2 minus q3 plus q4 minus q5 equals to 0 we can take all the negative that side so q1 plus q2 plus q4 is equals to q3 plus q5 it indicates that the current the charges q1 q2 q4 q1 q2 q4 is moving towards the junction and q3 q5 are moving away from the junction and both are equal how much the charge is moving towards the junction is equals to the charge leaving the junction that's why this law is based on law of conservation of charge thank you students